So sometimes I'll go, I'll sniffle, and I'll sniffle like all day. Sometimes uh, I'll go uh, like that. Um, let's see, what else do I do? Um, I go like that. Like I almost feel like my eyes are like closing in on me. What's up, guys? So as you can see from that little snippet at the beginning, I do have a form of Tourette's. Now, if it is stress-related or inherited by my parents and grandparents and if it's genetics, whatever it may be, uh, it doesn't matter because this video is all about how I became successful through having this type of uh, blinking habit and sniffling habit and things like that. Now, I, I'm, I'm making this series and the first part of the series was all about acne and how I had acne and how I have scars now. Uh, I'm making this series to let you know you are not alone. You are not alone. Whether it is a someone big in the fitness industry like myself who has 2.5 million plus followers on all social media or it is a high school boy, high school girl age of 14, 15, 16 years old going through a lot of personal things that they're very insecure about, whatever it may be, I wanna let you know you're not alone. And that whatever you your dreams are, whatever your aspirations are, they are possible. And I'm just gonna start it off real quick. You know, 119 pounds, as you guys know, I started off 119 pounds, I had acne all over my face. I already told you the story about that in the acne video. But I have always had this twitch. I, I used to, at one point I was only going like this, or I'd blink twice really, really fast. Um, it's transformed over the years, and when I'm really, really stressed, it comes out. And for the past, man, for the past nine years, I've been working day in and day out, like 12 hour days. No lie, like every single day, whether it was for football, whether it was making videos for you guys, responding to comments, now I'm working about 13, 14 hour days, and it's nonstop. When I vlog, I take time off, and I go and do other things with my girlfriend, and I, and I have fun, and I try and provide to you guys and girls with as, as much entertainment as possible. But the truth is, man, I work. I work a lot because I want to help people. I want, I want you to understand that your dreams are not dreams. They're goals and they're possible. So, you know, at 119 pounds, I was doing this. At 100 pounds, I was doing that. At 80 pounds, I was, I've been doing this since I was like, since I could even remember being very, very stressed when middle school came around and high school came around. And people used to always make fun of me about it. Not only about my acne, but they would, they would, they would look at me and they would go like this. What'd you say? What'd you say? Hey, Brennan, why do you make, why do you do that with your nose? Or hey, Brennan, why do you blink like that? Now. It was different back then. I used to do it all the time. Nowadays, I don't do it as much, but it was tough. It was tough sitting there and, and people making fun of me. But I knew one thing, that, I, that I, wanted, I, I wanted to achieve something that everybody else thought I could never achieve. I wanted to become successful in whatever I was doing later on in my life, whether it was guest speaking or playing in the NFL. And as you know from my acne video, I wanted to play in the NFL. I ended up dropping that, that opportunity, quitting college football to go and help people all around the world with body weight training. And that's where we leave here. Um, but, you know, it, it's been tough. And the way I escaped all of the name calling and all of that is I, I just, I took myself in a different room. I, I isolated myself and I worked my butt off. So again, I didn't want people to want to look at my face and see what I'm doing with all my face, my blinking, my, my sniffling, my acne. What did I want to do? I wanted to get a shredded body. I wanted to become as big as possible. I wanted to become the fastest, strongest, most hardworking person in this world so everybody could look at me and be like, wow, he did it. He did it. Now, is that happening? I'm, I'm in the process of that happening. But uh, things have changed. Some goals have changed. I'm, I don't care about the way I look anymore, my body, my physique. All I care about is, is just expanding my, my, my brain with all this knowledge and, and reading every day and providing to you guys and girls as much as possible everything that I learn and pass it on to you, experiences, whatever it may be, so that you can become successful. I want to see people around me become successful and be motivated by my hard work. And now that's where my goal is, not the physique, because that's not what it's all about. It's not all about your blinking, your nose sniffling, your, your acne on your face. It's not all about that. It's about being happy. It's about wanting to do and accomplish your goals that you set forth. 
If you're depressed, if you're suicidal, if you feel like you can't make it another day, if you feel like anything, you're not alone. You're not alone. I'm here. I've been through that route. I started out 100, 119 pounds, 14 years old, blinking, acne, all this crap that I didn't want to deal with. But guess what? Now I'm laughing at the people that made fun of me. And I'm trying to help them out as well. They're coming to me for guidance. Why? Because I stayed positive. And although it was very, very hard and I told myself every day, you're a loser, you look ugly, you can never be this. Just a few years ago, I learned that it's not all about that. And once you can, you can take your mind off of the reality around you with people making fun of you and move it into something more along the lines like, I want to accomplish, I want to open up my own business one day. I want to become a fitness expert like Brendan is. Or I want to get my exercise physiology degree like Brendan did from FAU. Whatever it may be, whatever your goals are, focus on that one thing and only focus on that one thing. Put all your effort into that basket and I promise you, you will become successful. Not only will you become successful, but people around you will look at you differently. Especially the people that used to make fun of you. They'll ask for guidance and then you can help them. Why? Because good karma, you give good karma, good karma comes right back to you. And if we keep that positive mindset, I promise you, <laughs> you will become successful. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I really wanted to just open up to, to every single one of you because you're not alone. You're not alone and we all have goals. We all are inspired by somebody and we also have our aspirations. We want to become this person and that person and it's possible. It really is. I was 119 pounds, 14, 15 years old. Now I'm 23, 205 pounds. My scars are going away. I'm not blinking like this as much. Man, it gets better. It gets better. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Tomorrow I have a vlog coming out and then Sunday I have the most motivational video up to date, I got a new car, so you're gonna check that out in the video at the beginning of that. Uh, I love you guys, give me a thumbs up for the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hashtag Calisthetics if you want any Calisthetics gear that's coming out soon as well. Calisthetics Beast Mode program is out as, uh, as well. I'll say that again, as well, as well, as well. <laughs> Anyways, love you guys and I'll see you soon.